Hi, my name is Andrew Tan. Hi, I'm uh, Frederick Salau. Hi, my name is David Drake. I'm from France. I'm doing my PhD here at McMaster University. I'm a graduate student at McMaster University and I'm studying engineering physics. Uh, I'm going to be starting my master's of engineering physics this September. After I finished my studies in France, uh, so I had an equivalent of a master, um, so I decided to uh, go abroad. So I just applied to different places. Uh, Australia, England, the US, Canada, and I ended up coming here. Rather than taking a risk and going to another department uh, or another school where the prof might just disappear across the continent for half the year, uh, I, I stuck with uh, somewhere where I, I knew I would uh, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy living for the next few years. Coming from a physics background, I really wanted to be able to apply my theoretical knowledge to real world problems and gain skills that today's engineers have. So once you to, to grad school and once you get to a, a smaller group you have a lot more freedom in what you pursue and you know you take your measurements or you build your device and you encounter a problem or you encounter unexpected results well you're the first person who gets to decide I should go this way you know I should I should make this measurement instead or I should tweak my machine this way to, to make it um, respond better. Day in and day out you read and learn new things as well as try to apply them and you're rewarded because you gain really great skills that you can apply in your field. When you enter the graduate program, you only have to take a few courses, so it's, uh, and you have your own project, and the courses you're taking are, you can apply them right away to your project, so you're not taking them just to have like, a grade in the end. You don't, the grade doesn't matter anymore, you're just there to learn something that you're going to use afterwards. My advisor is Dr. Adrian Baez. Um, my research field is nuclear engineering, and what I'm actually doing is developing a computer simulation. Uh, what I'm attempting to do is simulate certain transient effects such as delayed neutrons and temperature feedback in the fuel. Uh, Dr. Baez and I talk one-on-one, -on -one and uh, when I update him on my current research progress, he really gives me a lot of feedback on certain ideas and certain strategies I should be employing to uh, help solve the problems that I'm dealing with, as well as further my own work. I work with uh, Dr. Preston. Um, he specializes in uh, photovoltaics as well as uh, some more of the nanomaterials uh, subjects. Um, my background in electrical meant that I was most interested in working with the photovoltaic side. So one of the biggest projects I've been working on with him has been uh, to integrate solar cell technology into the product for, uh, for a company. Uh, I really like how consistent Dr. Preston is when it comes to uh, your discussions with him. He really um, lets you explore what you want within your research and lets you uh, come to whatever conclusions you want or, or you know even whatever you're thinking in terms of your next approach or how you're going to tweak your measurement device or whatever. He, he lets you do that um, as long as you can back up what you're saying, as long as you have a reason for everything you say um, and I think uh, having that sort of consistency and that reinforcement will uh, be very good in the future. I'm supervised by Dr. Nova here um, so my, my research is I'm working on uh, nuclear uh, reactor physics simulations so basically I'm um, simulating one of the six uh, possible future reactors uh, for the next generation. And so working with Dr. Nova uh, was, uh, was cool so far. He's, um, I think he's a good supervisor, he's a good speaker, he's very knowledgeable uh, about like, a lot of things, uh, like either like reactive physics, uh, thermohydraulic safety. Uh, so for me it's perfect, it's exactly what I'm working on. Think about the types of skills that you want to gain as well as where your passions lie. Become part of the community, you know. Um, take, uh, try to come to some of the social events, try to meet new people, don't just uh, stay reserved and stay in your lab and stay in your work. Just go talk to some graduates, you can contact them by email on the website. Uh, just can meet them. Choosing the correct project and the correct type of research will really drive you into the future and, and really prepare you for the real world. You can have like an insight uh, of what it is to be a graduate student, uh, how it is to work with that or this supervisor uh, and see if it fits your expectations. If you take the effort to meet other people and work with them and help them, uh, they'll do the same and then uh, everyone can accomplish a lot more when everyone's working together.